Good morning, and it's a real pleasure to discuss uh, virtually with you the drug-drug interaction with oral integrase brain transfer inhibitors. Let's get into the, the main part of this talk. So which are the drug-drug interactions um, we need to know when uh, treating our patients with um, integrase inhibitors? So let's start with perpetrators. So when integrase inhibitors are causing drug-drug interaction, you will not in the box there orange and blue that uh, I will not include l here because Cobicistat is, is being a boosting agent have a much wider drug interaction. So it, it's a per se a slide uh, talking about what might be seen with l Cobicistat. So if we discuss um, Dolutegavir and Bictegavir, we don't discuss Raltegavir because at, the, at this time we don't know any uh, drug interaction which Raltegavir is a perpetrator of the DDI. So these two compounds, Dolu and Bic, uh, they are MATE1 inhibitors and OCT2 inhibitors. These two are transporters that are expressed in several cells, but they're highly expressed on renal cells. You see here on the right in the, in the animation that if you do block OCT2, some molecules, including creatinine, are not transported across the tubule and so they, they, they go back to the, uh, the serum. And so we might note a serum increase in creatinine. So this is a known, a known effect. We saw that all these drugs include creatinine serum concentration, but it's usually between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 milligram per deciliter. So it's not the real, let's say, effect. It's a cosmetic increase uh, because it is a decrease in tubular secretion. Mm -hmm. 